And maybe what you have is not enough to pay your bills for this month. Maybe it's not enough to get that new car. But when you raise up your, your vision, when you raise up your thinking, when you're grateful for what you do have, more begins to multiply in your life. And, and I've learned that over the years and in my life, large sums of money have come to me when I am grateful and certainly a good steward over what I do have. So what am I doing? I am focusing in on what I do have and that begins to multiply in my life. So write down an everyday blessing that that you just sort of forgotten about, but people in other places would really be grateful for that. Name someone you're grateful to have in your life and write down why. Send them an email or a text to let them know how grateful you are. So what are you doing? You're taking your attention off of what you don't have on to what you do have. And when you do that, more good is multiplied in your life. Next thing, describe something that happened in the past that you didn't feel grateful for at that time. We all have those, don't we? But now you look back on that moment or you look back at that event with gratitude. Be grateful for what you have while you are on your way to what you desire. And so I know in your book, you did some research. I just love science and research. What did you find out about kindness? Well, here's, here's what's interesting. Um, those companies and people that are more kind, number one, have more, tend to make more money. Um, number two, are certainly happier uh, and usually more healthy. Their relationships are better. Um, so, you know, all around the board, if we were to draw a circle in every area, people and companies who are kind do better, live better, love better, you know, have just better lives. And that's a common thread. That is a common thread across the research. What's fun and what's fabulous is that kindness will make you more cash. That's never why we do it. Okay, we do mm -hmm. kindness for the sake of kindness. It is one of those values that we all understand, appreciate, and that we know when it's happening. So let's talk about these seven pathways to kindness. Share some of those with our listeners. Sure. Okay. Um, well, first of all, one of them is flexibility. You gotta be flexible in today's world. Patience is another, uh, another important product of one of the pathways to kindness and you know patience is key i mean especially in today's fast-paced world we all got a lot going on and i'm finding if i slow down sometimes it's actually so much better and certainly if i'm patient in my reaction to others so i you know uh, in fact we talk about this in profit of kindness then generosity you know being generous of spirit seeing where you can share that's really important uh connection is one of the pathways to kindness and what I'm finding is people want to be connected with now more than ever that means you know handwritten thank you notes is one of my favorite ways to connect pick up the phone and let people hear your voice you know that's a beautiful thing do you think that kindness is, is spirituality you know um, interestingly enough I mean it's in the Bible it's uh, at the basis of every religion it's uh, certainly the basis of all spirituality. And I, I think of spirituality as way beyond religion. Mm -hmm. So my answer is yes. And, uh, you know, really look at the Dalai Lama. He said, my religion is kindness. So what would you say to listeners about going, coming, going from what can I get to what can I give? You know, um, listen, in, in today's world, it's fine to need and want things. And that's really okay to ask for what you need and want. I, mm -hmm. I'm perfectly good with that. Um, I also think coming from a place called how can I help and what can I give mm -hmm. will actually, usually funny enough, get you far more than you ever could just get normally. What I really want is for kindness to, um, like the Dalai Lama says, be a new religion. I want kindness to be a movement. I want kindness to be at the base of, of every person's action. And to come from that place then creates a world that is gentler to live in, easier to navigate, 
and certainly far more wonderful. What I know is that kindness will make a huge difference and to be in the practice of conscious acts of kindness. You know, people say random acts of kindness. I say practice conscious acts of kindness and watch what the miracles that start occurring in your life.